What's going on, folks? Welcome to the Daily Dharma Wheel, and I am David. Sorry, today's took a little long. I woke up late, had to get to yoga, take care of some business, and now I'm finally back at the tarot table, ready to serve you. So let's get this phone straightened out. There we go. And let's get on with our Daily Dharma Wheel. Coming in for Aries. You've got the father card. Are there some daddy issues today? Or are you looking back at things? Looking back at your life? Looking back at things you've done? Things you haven't done? Here we see Sudadana looking hard and looking back. He's like, whoa, what was going on in that situation? Okay, so he's kind of like, yeah, let me think about this. Okay, that's the feeling that I get today with Aries, with this card five, the father, Sudadana. Sudadana was highly guilty of sheltering Siddhartha and holding him back. So this card asks, what is holding you back? How are you holding yourself back? Or are you holding others back? Okay, look to your higher wisdom. This is also the Hierophant, okay, the spiritual teacher. Um, so look into the higher spiritual knowledge to find the answers that you seek. Most of them will come from within. Coming in for Taurus, you've got a physical ending of something, okay? Here, this is a, a new beginning in the physical arena, work, whoops, home, business, but here, not quite so. So you're putting something to rest, okay? You're taking your fiery jewel and you're putting out the flames. So what is it that you're putting it into? Is it a relationship, okay? Is it a job, something in your home environment? What's going on? This is a physical ending here for this card. Gemini, you've got a leap of faith today. You're taking a huge leap of faith. Okay, here's the Fool card. This is Siddhartha coming down from Tashita Heaven. We meet our ancestors halfway at the stairway to heaven. We rise up, boom, they descend, boom, and we meet them halfway there. Got some ancestral meetings going on today there, Gemini? I know I do, a lot of them. Okay, but here Siddhartha is taking all of his wisdom and knowledge from his past lives. He had 427 of them and is using them in his present life. He's coming down with all that wisdom and knowledge represented by the white elephant and using it in this present life. So what is this new journey that you've descended from the heavens to embark upon? Okay. It is time to take that leap of faith. Also remember, there is no fellowship with fools. That is from the Buddha's Dhammapada. There is no fellowship with fools. Remember that. Coming in for cancer, you're cutting off an angry snake. There's an angry snake coming at you. It's in your lotus pond and it is time to cut its head off. Is this your snake? Are you the snake? Are you overrun with some passions? Okay, are you mad at yourself for something that's happened? What's going on there, cancer? Somebody angry coming at you? Somebody coming at you with some upside down passions? Okay, they may be a little too passionate, obsessive or something, and you need to cut that off at the head. Like, no, sorry, don't want that. An angry, jealous snake coming at you? Okay, you got to cut it, chop it down. Okay, so what's going on? We got this Vasuki action here. So do a Vasuki meditation. There's some great Vasuki um, frequencies and, and chants on YouTube that you could find. A Vasuki is an ang angry snake. So you can do the Vasuki meditation and overcome the angry snake. Coming in next for Leo, we have the Hermit card reverse. This is the old man and the sadhu. And, you know, upright, they're like looking back with gratitude and looking forward with hope. But when they're upside down, okay, they are looking back with regret and resentment and looking forward uh, kind of with fear and despair. You know, look, you're like, oh man, you know, I don't like the way this situation in my life is headed. So what is this that you're looking at and you're having to look at it from an upside down perspective here in hermit mode, where you're like, let me take a step back. Let me really look deep at what's going on here. Leo. Virgo. Okay, you got temperance. It was upright. You got the temperance card upright. Okay, here you are bringing balance, Virgo. Okay, good food in your system, nourishment. What are you putting into your system? This is what this card asks. What are you feeding into your soul? What are you feeding with your eyes? What are you feeding with your ears? Okay, and also what are you feeding inside of your body? What kind of good food are you putting in? Good clean food to help balance you out. Here, the divine masculine is out of balance. Siddhartha's so weak he can't even stand up. 
and this maiden had to give him some food to give him some strength. Tap into your Divine Feminine and get strength from your Divine Feminine so you can stand up on your own two feet. Bring in that balance, create it within. That was Virgo. Libra. You're taking back what was stolen from you. Seven of Swords, Seven of Vajras, Card of Mistrust. So here you are going into that storehouse, taking what you earned and you're taking off. Sorry y'all, I'm out. I don't like this situation anymore. This is not a trustworthy situation and I gotta go. Also, this card says, do not trust the illusions of your mind. When this card shows up, this is also a mind battle, mind games. My mind is playing tricks on me. And when your mind plays tricks on you, your mind can rob you blind of all of your manifestation, all of your health and wealth, everything you've worked for can be completely ruined by the mind. So do not trust the illusions of your mind. Scorpio, massive emotional releases today. Okay, be careful who you release to, be careful who you speak to. There's a lot that wants to come out, but you guys remember my warning. No, do not. Because as you release, people are going to take it the wrong way and use it against you. No matter which way this card is, there is milk spilling out. But here it's reversed, so all the milk is spilling out. You don't quite want that. Turn that container back upright. And be careful who you speak to. Coming in for Capricorn. Nope, Sagittarius. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Sagittarius. Okay, this is the upside down Dakini of Double Vajras. This is Ratna Dakini. And here she is dropping in. Okay, when this Dakini shows up, you know, this is one, a seriously emotionally immature feminine. Okay, they just, their emotions are out of whack. Okay, they're a page, they're in the learning process and their emotions, they haven't learned anything about emotional maturity. They're emotionally immature. So this is dealing with an emotionally immature feminine. Also though, these are dead singers and celebrities coming in, bringing messages. Be aware of that, Capricorn. Sagittarius, I apologize, Sagittarius. Be aware of that, okay? Also, this is a clairaudient awakening, clairaudient downloads, okay? And this is telepathic communications from the heart. Capricorn, you got the magician. You got all the tools in your box to make it happen. Let me look at that time there, okay, cool. You've got all the tools in your box to make it happen. You can do it. You ready? Okay, who is this magic man you've been working with, Capricorn? Okay, or maybe you are the magic man or woman, the sorcerer, the sorceress, the magician. Okay, what's this magic you're working? You got all the tools, but remember, as above, so below. As above, so below. No matter what realm you're in, the highest realms of Tashita heaven or the lowest realms of the hell of incessant suffering. As above, so below. There's always something watching you. Speaking of, doubt the tragic dragon. It's trying to come in upside down on Aquarius and take the sun and the moon out of the sky. But here we turn doubt the dragon, tragic dragon upside down, rub his belly, and he passes out. You ever seen alligator farmers do that? Rub an alligator on its belly and they pass out. Same thing you can do with sharks. Well, doubt the tragic dragon, that's its weakness. When you sit down with your fear, okay, because you can be upside down in hope and fear. And when you sit down with your fears and speak with them and put them in their proper perspective, then doubt the tragic dragon can't even come near. He's like, damn it. This guy's speaking with his spears. He's integrating his shadows. Integrate those shadows. Pisces. Planting some seeds with others. Magic that you have been working and seeds that you have been planting and you're planting seeds now that are getting ready to come to fruition in about two months. Bing. Okay, in about two months. Seeds. These seeds planted are going to be coming to fruition. Keep it up, Pisces. Okay? 
clean out your cauldron. Okay, here, here, this is a cauldron dump. You've worked a lot of magic in your cauldron, but now it's time to clean it out. So go through a cauldron cleaning ceremony and make some black salt. And the seeds that you planted with these two lotus flowers, man, amazing. Very amazing. Looking at my time still. Coming in for our bonus card. Oh, we've kind of flew through those. We got, and we're talking about the sun and the moon in the sky, right? Well, here's the sun and the moon. We're trying to hold them up, but it's time to set one down. Within the collective, there's something we have to let go physically. Here is setting that sun and moon down, okay? Here we're holding them up, okay? The sky is falling, the sky is falling. Oh no, let me hold the sun and moon up. Well, guess what? It's become too much of a burden holding either the sun or the moon or both the sun and the moon up. And now it's time to set them down. Let them go. So what is this collective that we are setting down, that we are letting go? There was something that's not bringing us balance. And we have to create a new balance by dropping something off, letting go of dead weight. Okay? What's going on there? We will see. All right, wow. We went through those cards kind of fast. I guess we'll do a little extra draw and see what else the cards have to say today. To go along with this bonus card, we're gonna do a bonus bonus card. Hey, why not? Today's bonus bonus card is, <laughs> ooh, don't be a pig. This is about laziness. And there's something that we've been lazy on. Okay, this Four of Cups, maybe there's an offering that's been trying to come in. And we're like, you know what? I don't know if I want that offering. Or maybe we're having to do some investigation, okay? Because intelligence overcomes the laziness of the pig. And, you know, that cup that's been offered, you know, we're like, eh, let me... What are the ingredients of this juice you're trying to give me? If we were to look at the Four of Cups. Whoops. Okay. So, yes. You know, what is this cup you're trying to offer me? There's that time again, I can't see the time. That's what the cards want to ask. Okay, there's something that we're putting down. And we're looking at something that's being offered. Okay, we're also not being pig-headed about things. This is a heart chakra card. With these four double vajras here, that's actually some stability there. Okay, so we're going to be rooted in intelligence. Grounded in intelligence. Hmm, what's this next card? Wow, we talk about intelligence and there's the Ace of Vajras. We got ourselves an actual whoosh, mental card. Whoops, didn't mean to drop that. Okay, so, and it just fell onto the Hierophant, the Pseudodon of the Father. So it's saying, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the time there. I can't see the time thingy. As it drops right on him, what are these things we gotta cut up we gotta cut off? That's what this card is definitely asking for everybody, especially Aries, since it fell into Aries. There's something that's holding you back that you got to cut off. Hmm. So I guess Aries gets an extra message today. Kind of cool. All right, looking at my time again. We'll do one more card. Why not? Oh, oh it's reversed. And actually, it's upright because the last one was reversed. Ooh, Ten of Wands. This is. The other wheel card, the minor arcana wheel card, the wheels are turning, passionate, creativity. Okay, free the freak. It's a message I've gotten before on this one. It's time to look, you know, let your passions out. Show the world what you can do. You got 10 lotuses. And within these 10 lotuses are seed pods. You can plant a lot of seeds. All right, you guys. Schedule your session today. I'm here for you. I'd love to work with you. It'd be an honor. Let's end it with some more bells. <phone rings> Woo, yoga kind of kicked my ass today. I'm feeling it right now. <laughs> All right, you guys, I love you. I'll see you later. <laughs>